All right. Well, today I wanted to talk about how the stereotype of your race affects your dating life as a man. This is going to be from experiences that I've personally seen, experiences of other men of different races that I'm friends with here in the U.S. These stereotypes will impact your dating life in the short term in different ways, and then in the long term in other ways as well. As a white man myself, there aren't many negative stereotypes that really affect um, your dating life. I mean, to be honest, there like there are for other races. Some people tend to view white men as being wealthier, but that's definitely not always the case. Uh, this perception de- definitely depends on you know how you're dressed. I think on average, um, if a man dresses well, I think people will subconsciously assume that they're wealthier, and that's uh, across all races, not just white men. In this video, I'll mainly be discussing the stereotypes that people have of black men, Hispanic men, and Asian men here in the U.S. and how those stereotypes will impact their dating lives. I think in general, white guys tend to have it easier in short-term relationships and easier in long-term relationships as there are just no negative stereotypes that are really holding them back in any way. And in regards to black men, I have a couple friends from college, high school, as well as during my working years that I've spent a good amount of time with and spoken about dating dynamics that I'd like to bring on the channel at some point for interviews. And one of the positive stereotypes that black men get is the uh, BBC. (laughs) And I think a lot of women associate black men in general with this. And for a majority of them um, that I've spoken to have stated that, you know, it can be easier to hook up with women as they're going to be women that, you know, have that natural curiosity and that curiosity could lend itself in like a you know a large bar or you know a nightclub scenario depending on where you are in the US um, as well as in college as well uh, i think when a stereotype like this is talked about a lot uh, like the bbc is it will lead a lot of women of a lot of different backgrounds to have some level of curiosity And another positive stereotype that, you know, black men have is being masculine, just having more of a masculine like appearance. Uh, And they tend to have like more muscular bodies as well. And a lot of, a lot of women in general, like, like men that are in good shape and, you know, genetically a lot of black men have that naturally muscular type look that I think a lot of women, you know, like in general. And both of these stereotypes, you know, help some black men have an easier time dating, especially in the short term. You think about it from a woman's standpoint, um, both of those stereotypes um, can be attractive and, you know, they may pursue guys in the short term as well as the long term because of them. As far as the negative stereotypes of black men, there are many. Uh, One of the biggest stereotypes is that they're portrayed more in the media as criminals Um, This has an effect on how they're viewed in terms of being like more longer term dating prospects. I think when a group of people is portrayed as uh, being lower class or or, or criminals by the media, this can impact how women view them for potential long term relationships. You know, I think in addition, another negative stereotype that they have to overcome is that the perception that some people have of them being poor Um, This isn't always the case depending on where you were living in the country, but especially a lot of in a lot of places down south and in the Midwest, um, a lot of people, that's the general perception that they have of um, a lot of black men. And I think a lot of a lot of parents may have told their daughters not to, you know, bring a black guy home. Uh, That's what my my one friend told me he struggled with when, you know, um, he was dating a white girl in college for a while. And, you know, she had told him that um, her parents, you know, don't want her dating a black guy. I think that happens, you know, a lot, a lot to black men, I think. And there was another friend I had in in college, you know, he tended to dress more on the preppy side. He told me that he, he really struggles with the vast majority of black women because they tend to like guys who are more into like the rap hip hop culture. And I obviously haven't personally experienced this myself, but I'm going off of what he said. And I think that's got to be tough in a lot of ways to, you know, have those negative perceptions outside of the black community, but also have, you know, the, the negative perceptions within the black community. So I can understand how, you know, uh, for short term relationships, I think black guys may have it easier than, you know, Asian guys, but definitely I think they have it much harder 
when it, uh, than, than everyone when it comes to long-term relationships because of the negative stereotypes associated with them. Now, if you look like a guy like Texan Beckford, <laughs> these stereotypes won't impact you as much, um, if not at all. <laughs> but I think for the vast majority of black guys, uh, these negative stereotypes will in some way, shape or form um, impact your dating life. And as for Asian guys in the US, they definitely really struggle for the most part, especially for short term relationships. Asian guys, whether it's you know Indian guys, Chinese, uh, Vietnamese, Korean, uh, tend to have some negative stereotypes associated with them of being really nerdy. And I think this will really impact your dating life a lot, especially in high school, the most, but also in college as well. I think there are definitely some exceptions. Like if you look like you know John Cook, or you probably won't have as much or. Um, of the negative stereotype that most Asians would. Another negative stereotype that affects Asian guys is the small stereotype. Now, not every woman will have the stereotype in her head or think this of Asian guys, but some women definitely do have that perception of women. I think this perception could impact how a woman could view an Asian guy for a short-term relationship. As for long-term relationships, the nerdy stereotype can also work in their favor uh, because a lot of Asian guys you know, tend to grow up to be doctors, lawyers, surgeons, and in other high paying professions. So I don't think they tend to struggle as much as black men uh, for long term relationships. Uh, in terms of Indian guys specifically, there's a stereotype that they can be very smelly, unkempt, and that they don't know how to dress well. And it's interesting because I had an acquaintance in college who definitely went against that stereotype. Like he was. He was actually like six foot five. He was in great shape, uh, good looking, um, and he dressed extremely well. He was also pretty athletic as well. And I think the stereotype of uh, smelly, you know, can do with in certain families eating certain foods with certain spices. But I think for short term relationships, Indian guys definitely have it the hardest. I think because of the combination of the small stereotype the nerdy stereotype and then, you know, the smelly stereotype on top of it. You know, of course, if you look like my acquaintance from college, you won't have that stereotype really associated with you. But I think the the vast majority of Indian guys, you know, do tend to have that stereotype to an extent, which in terms I think will uh, impact, you know, how some women view dating them short term and long term. As for Hispanic guys, I think this is a very mixed bag. Uh, because there are so many different types of Hispanic guys. Um, I knew some Brazilian exchange students in college and they were all pretty tall. They had olive skin. They were good looking and they didn't really have any negative stereotype associated with them. And overall, they were seen as like very exotic by women for the most part. And the same thing could apply to most guys that come over from, say, like Spain or Portugal uh, they, they tend to be like olive skin, dark hair, and in general tend to be attractive to women and women view them favorably. However, like I think Mexican guys have it the worst in the US as far as negative stereotypes that people have. I had two very close friends from high school. Uh, one was Cuban and Puerto Rican and the other was Mexican and three of us hung out a lot. And uh, my friend that was half Cuban, half Puerto Rican, he, he didn't really have any negative stereotypes as he, you know, he was 6'2", he was a pretty good looking guy and he had like more of a, a lighter skin tone. And I think uh, my friend who was Mexican had more of like a darker skin tone. He was uh, a little, little overweight. Uh, he, he tended to have some more negative stereotypes kind of placed on him. I remember... You know, some some guys, some people would call him like El Gordo or some people would call him Mexican. And, you know, there were a lot of them. A lot of them were joking around and things like that. But I think Mexican guys you know, have to deal with, you know, the stereotype that they're macho, which which overall is a pretty positive stereotype that I think most women would like. But they have to deal with the negative stereotype of uh, being perceived as lower class and poor by some people. Um, I think a common stereotype of Mexican guys as well is that they don't speak English well. 
And this this could be true in some cases, um, but not true in a lot of others. From my experience, I think especially the younger generation that you know grew up here in the U.S. or you know came to the U.S. when they were you know going through school. Um, overall, though, I think the stereotypes of Hispanic men don't hurt them that much for short. Don't hurt them that much for short term relationships or long term relationships. And women in the U.S., uh, you know, view them pretty favorably. Well, if you've enjoyed this video, feel free to give it a like. Feel free to comment down below any stereotype you've experienced. And feel free to subscribe. Until next time, take care.